And back we go to our wars that are not actually our wars. We're leaving it up to the AI. Well, my wife might not be able to bear any more children, it appears. We'll see. She has given us two kids. One of which is a bit better than the other. But... I don't know, we have a fever as well. We're probably suffering from consumption. Just like the rest of our family. So we'll have to see which our daughters is going to do the surviving here. Uh, we will try something experimental and we end up disfigured. And apparently we feel that our court physician is a bit of a traitor there. We will be severely in injured and disfigured and imprison our dear court physician, which we're go not going to do. Not going to do. We're just waiting for this war to be over. There we go, we die. And we have a new heir. Is our dear sister. And our... Oh boy, okay, this is this is suboptimal in many, many ways because we just lost a whole lot of pacts. But we're also no longer in any wars. We kind of try and restart this whole thing. Alright, so there's still two of us left. We just have to survive 10 years now. 14 years, 16 years actually. Until we come of age. Oh boy. So let's get our... Council back together. Do certain things. We're not going to shut the gates. Not this late into it. Doesn't really matter at all. Port Tutor. Uh, and, uh, yeah, him. Right, yeah. He died due to severe injuries. So let's see. The Emperor of the Latin Empire. They all go away the second I switch to matrilineal marriage. Um, but there's a prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Prince of Antioch, which isn't too bad, though he has consumption. They were really just looking for princes, get some decent... Oh, that's a very small... Why do you have so few troops? Up with your clans. It's about 4,000. Let's see. Take one of his boys. He is the child of a concubine, so not ideal. We'll take the one with the title claim. Do that. Maybe we can get up a maybe we can get a alliance out of it. Yes, we can, that's good. So we have at least one ally again in the world. Nice.
And he immediately calls on us to fight in his war. First of all, we need to stand down our troops and kind of recover. We have been in back-to-back -back wars. Our troops need to rebuild, regrow. Luckily, we have taken care of this already. That's nice. Um, let's get her a matrilineal marriage as well. The Prince of Trebizon. Not... Not very big, is it? Quite small, is it? Oh, well. They are losing right now. Maybe we can get something here again. With our sister? Nope. One of our brothers? Nope. Well, uncles they are. Uh, the... Okay. But he's not going to... Ah, she's got a contagious disease, so until we clear that up, that's not going to work. See if we can't do something with our uncles. Nope. Not the marriage either. Oh. The... Nope. The music is not really fitting the mood of everything. We might have to try and convert to Islam. Let's see. Can't really join a society okay yeah you marry please that should okay wait we get an alliance with you yeah so that gives us an alliance with them again um right what do you want Armenian Sunni revolt Doesn't really say what we're fighting about. Oh no Don't really have enough troops to deal with this Let's set our crown focus here Especially since we can't raise the troops here Which do make a well small amount of our troops still it's not nothing. I'll have to face them. Nothing to be done about it. Usually, rebels are fairly weak. So we might have a chance to deal with them. Would you like... No? Marriage? No. Nope. And we're back in the war. I mean, 3,800 against the rebel army should be enough. Uh, I think we can go in the north. Yes, we can. So let's get our troops well positioned with leaders. And crush the rebellion. I said crush the rebellion, not be crushed by the rebellion. Can you manage that, please? There we go. Okay, we'll stand down our troops immediately again. Okay, yeah, helping the 
Georgians up here. That's not going to go very far or well. I wonder how we might be able... How do you have a weak claim on the Mongol Empire? So we could spend some gold and get the Jews back. I think we should do that. Right now we have the money. And it should be one of our first acts as queen. We welcome back the Jews into the realm. Mistakes were made. We have sympathy for Jewish religions. Uh, let's see, can't we maybe find an educator who's Muslim? Let's see, there are a few Muslims here. Shouldn't take one who's actually sick. Let's have him be our educator. Nasib Nasibib. Maybe he can convert us. Let's see. My uncle. And Clementia of Munstaufen. So we would get another non aggression pact with the Holy Roman Empire. Can we turn that into an alliance? Indeed, we can. Friedrich von Hohenstaufen accepts our marriage proposal here. The daughter was born to my aunt. Right? Okay. So that's not a bad alliance to have. 44,000 at our back end call. And we're his only ally in the world as well, so he better treat us right. That's still too many troops of the enemy. I'm sorry, I will not be able to help you, my dear ally. Wish I could. They are facing a rebellion. Do you have enough troops to deal with it? Yes, you do. Actually, quite strong. But we will be also quite strong once we are back up with our troops. Oh, no. I think my aunt died. So we're also out of this war. No, we're not. Still in that war. Just not allied anymore. You would like to marry my courtier or have her mind lost your war anyway you've become useless to us oh wait this the duchy of armenia is not in the kingdom of armenia would you like to become a vassal <laughs> We have some ties, I feel. Okay, they lost their holy war. Up optimal. We have inherited a bishopric, which we definitely don't want to hold. So let's create a new vassal out of thin air. So there's still this war going on, which we are never going to win. But now we have the might of the Holy Roman Empire behind us. 
So at least it should be a little bit more daunting for an enemy to consider attacking us. I doubt they will be much... I mean, they're not that far away. They might actually help intervene if they come by ship. Why are you not winning your revolt? Ah, there you go. Cousin. Lovely. See, can't we get some sort of decent... Okay, let's check through a bunch of more powerful dukes, maybe. Let's check the realm tree here. The most powerful duke. Guy. 3,000, that's not bad. Would you like... To marry one of my cousins? That doesn't lead to anything, sadly. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Get one of those girls here. And... Maybe... Want my cousin? Sister? Nope. I mean, she is 60. <laughs> Not going to last very long. How many troops do you have? Some. Jerusalem, how are you doing? Not great. Egypt. What's going on here? See, you want one of these? No. I think we tried that before. On her? Not really. I mean, it's one more alliance under our belt. With a little bit more immediate chance of intervention if something would go wrong. What else could we try and include? I mean, yeah, why not? Let's have one of our brothers do something. Or uncles. I'm sorry, I constantly say brothers. Should have taken it before. Now he's reluctant. 2000. Let's see, what can we do? Very young one. Uh. Have a boy, maybe? Okay. Nope. Don't want that. Why? Ah. He has a disease that appears. They would take him. Okay, let's do that. A few smaller counties in this. Uh, come on, a new one. Go. Just have to live with being raided. Not ideal. It hurts. The county that is being raided. Oh, actually, I don't have to accept this one bit. I can fight it and I shall fight it. Because while it doesn't hurt you monetarily speaking, like you're not losing money over it, what you are losing is if they take it, they weaken your county. And you don't want your county weakened. Because it destroys the garrison... And the jihad against Egypt failed, which is nice to hear. Remove people around again. Attack from the north. Just in time to relieve our troops there. 
reinforce our army. Going to go fine even without it, but why chance it, right? They flee back on their ships and we can stand down our troops. Except for retinue, those we keep. We should actually, due to being as small as we are, build a bit of a larger retinue. And Pike is a fairly good retinue to have. What do we even have? Heavy infantry. Yeah, not, not too shabby. Let's have a bunch of Pike again. Can't afford it. Ill afford it, but can. Just to bolster our ranks a little bit more. A little bit more reliable too. So how are you doing? Okay. Except for being quite young yourself. I like that we do have a weak claim on the Mongol Empire. That's just pretty fantastic. And the raiders are back. So we are also going back to killing them. I think that's just fair. And they flee at the sight of our armies. And they immediately come back. So we raise our troops right where they try to land. Because they get a huge malice to landing. So they are thoroughly beaten. And we'll just repeat this however often we need to. Okay, they have decided to go back to their filthy home country. Right there. How strong are you? 7,000. Not actually all that strong, to be quite honest. For being a kingdom? Not very strong. But we have a few more troops than Antioch down here. Three captives. What captives do we have of us? Why would we care? I mean, we. <laughs> Duchy of Hellas would join us. What happened to our Holy Roman Empire? Oh no. Okay, we are no longer in a pact with the Holy Roman Empire. Why, why is that? Oh, I think the guy we in a pact with died. Yeah, they're now the wealth. No longer Hohenstaufen. So we have no marriage ties to them anymore. Let's see. Maybe we can create some. There are some princes here. Um... Can't very well give out our heir. That. Because if we die, she's our only lifeline, and then her children are going to be bad in a bad spot. We can't restore our alliance here. But we still have at least this guy. That's alright. See if we can't get anyone for her. Decent. Well, there is a prince of the Holy Roman Empire that's going to take it matrilineally. We're totally going to take that deal. Not a question. I mean, he's club footed, but who cares, right? So, let's see. They don't want an alliance with us, though. Why not? Can't really give him a gift, but I could give him an artifact. Which would give us plus 30 opinion. And then he might accept the alliance. So we, we're going to try that. The, the gift... The item isn't all that great. It's not going to kill us to give it away. Give it to him. And now we get our alliance with the Holy Roman Empire again. There we go. That's good. Very good indeed.
Right. That was not as spectacularly exciting as the last few, but still, we managed quite a few things that are fairly important. So, well done us.